Well, let's just do it. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, today's story, uh, I'm going to read for you guys A Couch for Llama. Uh, it's another one of our favorites around our house. Uh, so this is A Couch for Llama uh, by Lee Gilbert, and it comes from the Sterling uh, Children's Book Publishing Company. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was perfect spot for snuggling and for reading, card playing, fort building, and hide and seeking. They had many good times together. Maybe a few too many good times. Whee! Oops. Hey! One day, they realized it was time for a new couch. So, they piled into the family car, and off they went to find one. One that was not too big or too small, but just right. The Lago family found the perfect couch. Whoosh! But on the way home, something went wrong. Llama found a couch. Llama braid, hello, to the couch. But the couch didn't say anything. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Llama ate the couch instead. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. The couch was useless. Take it away. But it just wouldn't budge. The Lago family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where's the couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very boring. So Llama snuck up and pounced and Bouncy, bouncy, bounced, whirled and twirled, jumped and bumped. And fell down into the smushy, mushy, fluffy, puffy cushions. He actually, finally, completely loved the couch. The Lago family found the couch and also a llama. Specifically, a stubborn, couch loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry, llama, we'll be back. What a surprise! A couch just for Llama. And at the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch. But Llama was the happiest of them all. What I love about this story is that uh, the Lago family had something that they were done with but it could make somebody else really, really happy. And so the llama got to be really happy too at the end of our story. So I'm wondering, what did you do today to help make somebody else smile? Have a great day, you guys.